The big question is which dash cam to buy. And that's why you're here. What's up guys today's video is on the best dash cams in 2022. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. Now let's get started. The 11-2 is a very low-cost dash cam that uses the same handy magnetic quick-release mount as the 312GW, so it's really convenient to remove from the car to transfer video files or even take a few photos on battery power if you're in a collision. It's the only dash cam here that records of a lowly 1280 by 720 pixels, and there is certainly less detail. The 120-degree lens means it is much easier to read the number plates of oncoming cars as they're physically larger in the resulting video. There are no frills, such as Wi-Fi or GPS, nor can you review any footage or photos on the two screens. But the 11-2 is nice and compact and has easy-to-use buttons and menus. If you have a very limited budget, this is a good choice. Pros, very affordable. Magnetic quick release. Cons, low quality video. No GPS. Best screenless dash cam. We're fans of screenless dash cams that stick unobtrusively behind your rear view mirror. But with power, GPS, and rear camera attached, wires get a bit messy with the F200. Dual channel 1080p full HD dash cam. Capture clear 1080p front and rear footage with accurate color balance and improved contrast, whether it's night or day. Advanced driver assistance system helps you stay safe on the road with alerts for lane departures. Front vehicle departures and potential forward collisions. Image quality is mediocre. Although the F200 records at 1080p, the bit rate is quite low and details are lacking. This makes it tricky to make out registration plates even in daylight. And the 720p rear camera is markedly worse, so is good only for showing generally what happened in an incident. Pros, hides away behind the rear view mirror. Compact. Cons, mediocre video quality. GPS not included as standard. Best 4K dash cam. The 622GW is the all-singing, all-dancing flagship from Nextbase. It may be expensive, but it has all the features you can think of, and even more than you can't. Core video quality is very good, partly thanks to the stabilization which helps to sharpen details. At night, it's still impressive, but don't expect to be able to read registration plates. If you don't want a rear camera, you might be able to justify spending this much on a front-facing camera. But there isn't a huge trade-off in quality if you step down to the 522GW. Pros, great 4K video. Built-in Alexa. Cons, expensive. Best Value 4K Dash Cam The A129 Pro Duo is still one of the more affordable 4K dash cams. It does the basics well and offers great video quality, but note that the rear camera is not 4K. Our rate is high because it manages to strike a great balance between price and quality. If you want the extra detail that comes with a 4K recording, the A129 Pro Duo is a good choice. The rear camera is still 1080p, but as a package, it's impressive overall. The A129 Pro Duo is one of the cheapest dual-channel dash cams around. So even though it costs a lot more than the A129 Duo, it's worth it if you really want the extra detail available with a 4K recording. Pros, 4K video plus 1080p compact design. Cons, parking mode requires hard wiring. Best Rear View Mirror Dash Cam The M2 provides an ultra-wide display that can show the rear camera's view or you can turn off the display, and it's a mirror, albeit a little dimmer than a standard one. Video quality is good from both cameras, and our only real complaint is the clunky menu system which is awkward to use. The most important factor is, of course, video quality. Fortunately, there aren't any huge disappointments in that department. The 1440p front-facing camera and 1080p rear-facing camera perform fairly well in most situations. The Vantru M2 could use a bit of TLC on the software side, but the hardware is near faultless. And the ability to use the rear camera as a reverse parking camera is a very handy bonus. Pros, rear camera can be a reverse camera. Good video quality. Cons, no companion app. Best value single lens dash cam. The OFO understands what people want from a dash cam, good quality video recording, plus recording options when your car is parked. There are no extra features such as lane departure, speed camera, even GPS is optional, so you can pay less if you don't want it. 
This keeps the price down while still offering great quality. There are three parking modes to choose between, but you will need to buy and fit the hardwire kit to use them. If you want good quality video and recording when your car is parked, the A11 9V3 is a great dash cam. Note that no Micro South Dakota card is included, but the A11 9V3 supports up to 256 GB of cards. Again, that's great because it means more hours of stored footage before the oldest files begin to be overwritten. Compared to most dash cams at this price, the A11 9V3 produces better image quality both during the day and at night. If you don't need frills such as Wi-Fi or lane departure warnings, the A11 9V3 is a great choice. Pros, good quality video. No unnecessary frills. Cons, requires hard wiring kit for parking mode. Best value dash cam with Alexa. The 422GW also supports the range of rear cameras, records at 1440p, and cost the same as the older 412GW did. Not everyone will need all the 422GW features, but even if you don't it's still great value. And be prepared for a struggle to get Alexa working. The biggest change is the mounting system. The old CLICK Ango was good, but it was too tall and meant the dash cam hung a bit too low on the windscreen for a lot of cars. The new system sees the mounting point move to the front of the camera, making the whole thing a lot more compact. There are only two buttons, power and an emergency button which you can push to protect the video being recorded from being overwritten when the Micro South Dakota card is full up. The 422GW records at 1440p, the highest resolution, at 30fps. You can change to 1080p 60fps, but it won't auto-switch to 30fps at night for a brighter image, so isn't recommended. Pros, Alexa built-in. Good safety features. Cons, average video quality. Number 2, the Ofo T130. Best triple lens dash cam. The compact design, great parking mode, and decent video quality make the T130 a great option for anyone looking for more than a single lens dash cam. It delivers good video quality that, as long as it's not nighttime, can usually be relied upon to show clearly what happened in an incident. Resolution is enough in most cases to read registration plates. The interior camera uses infrared LED for decent night vision, but the quality is still better during daylight. The T130 is more expensive than some of the firm's dual-channel models, but that's because it has three channels. That means it records the front, rear, and the car's interior. All three cameras can also record while your car is parked. Again, this should capture anything that happens and, hopefully, who is responsible. Pros, great parking mode. Front, interior and rear cameras. Cons, parking mode requires hard wire kit. Best value front plus rear dash cam. If you're after a dual dash cam, the Viofo is one of the best value choices around. It records great quality front and rear in good light and is well designed and isn't too expensive. This front and rear dash cam dispenses with the frills and concentrates on what's important, recording good quality video. This means it's cheaper than most rival dual-channel dash cams. But do watch out as some bundles don't include the GPS mount and the polarizing filter. This is where things get a little confusing. There are motion detection and parking modes. Both require a constant power supply to the cameras in order to function. You can't use them if you haven't used the hard wire kit. The 1080p footage at 30 frames per second. It's colorful a bit too saturated really. And detailed and it's a detail that matters for any dash cam. Pros, good quality video. Compact, unobtrusive design. Cons, parking mode requires hard wiring 